Another difficult story that we're following closely now, twin teenagers who endured horrific living conditions in the Cyprus area until they recently escaped. Their mother and her boyfriend are facing charges, and tonight it is through their cases and court documents that we are learning more about the abuse accusations. KPRC 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum is live for us now in Cyprus with those new details. Joel. Lauren, you know the most disturbing information contained within these court documents simply is not fit for television. We throw around the word shockingly a lot in local TV. But what's contained within these documents is authentically shocking. Behind the gates of this Cyprus subdivision, heartbreak and horror, as 16-year-old twins, a boy and girl, handcuffed, abused and malnourished, have just made a daring escape from their home. The boy would later tell police he hid the handcuff key in his mouth. Can you please help us? The woman, a neighbor who did, talked to KPRC 2's Brandon Walker earlier this week. She kept shaking and she was like, "We, uh, my mom's kept us locked in the laundry room. And it sounds like it may have been much worse. From the new court documents, the children said their mom would make them drink, quote, chemicals such as bleach, Lysol, and would spray easy off oven cleaner in their mouths if they talked too much. The defendant would also pour bleach on the children, causing their skin to burn, including their genital area. The mother and her boyfriend were arrested in Louisiana. Police say they appeared to be on the run. Five other children in the family, ages 7 to 14, were found safe in that state. The mom, 40-year-old Zakiah Duncan, had previous and extensive dealings with CPS in Louisiana. CPS in Texas is a wholly separate agency. Didn't and really couldn't have known the peril these kids were in. When we see CPS and a problem happening across state lines, it's 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 uh, quite unusual that these agencies are going to talk to each other. Even law enforcement, they generally don't talk across state lines. So a case like this, uh, it wouldn't be unusual for Louisiana to not have talked to Texas and vice versa. And the very latest from Texas CPS tonight is that the two kids, this boy and girl, 16-year-old twins, are both in the hospital tonight. They are recovering, and the entire family, the kids, are in CPS custody. We're live in Cyprus. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. Uh, not just shocking, but truly disturbing, Joel. Thank you.